What's up, everyone? This is Logan with Cigar Federation, uh, IPCPR 2013, and uh, my partner in crime, Robert Reds Reviews, and Cigar Federation, Rob. And then I have CEO of the IPCPR, Bill, with us. How you doing, Bill? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Hey, on. no problem, man. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Appreciate you coming on. So, I mean, hell, we're in. This is two, two Tuesday. So day, day, it's day three. Day three of the show. Right. How's it going so far? It's this is the smoothest show we've had. It's the largest show we've ever had. Uh, the most exhibitors and um, it really is exceeding everybody's expect, expectations. Very cool. You just yeah. jinx yourself. <laughs> you just jinx yourself. No, no, absolutely not. Okay. Because I got a great staff. You I do. got a great set of board members. I got a great uh, advisory. Uh, Associate Member Advisory Board of Manufacturers, and we had a meeting today. We got great ideas from them. Uh, it's, it's a, the reason this is going so smoothly is because it's a huge team effort. It, it's not just me. It's not just my staff. Uh, it's, a, it's a team that's working to protect the rights of cigar consumers. Everywhere. It's always good to be surrounded by a good staff that you know is going to come in and, and handle all those jobs. You're surrounded by good people, so that's great. Uh, so, what are, beyond the trade show, what are some of the other things you guys are working on? Well, I, the, the main message I have for your uh, viewers and listeners is we need you to get. We've got two bills before uh, Congress right now. Uh, we need you to go to our website, which is ipcpr.org. Or CRA's website, which is CigarRights.org. You can go to either one. You click on uh, take take legislative action or take action. You put in your zip code, and it, we need you to encourage your representatives from the House and your senators uh, from our state to support our bills, uh, to get involved, and to tell them that premium cigars are different. They're not marketed to underage youth. They are not affordable by underage youth. We fully support not selling them to underage youth, and we need co-sponsors. We've got 120 co-sponsors right now in the House. We've got 10 in the Senate. Last year we had a majority of the House, and that really got the FDA's attention. Uh, the bills themselves are not as important as the message it sends to the non-elected regulators at the FDA and the Center for Tobacco Products uh, that there is a huge block of individuals out there that simply want their personal liberties because for me this job is not about tobacco. It has nothing to do with tobacco. It has, it has everything to do with jobs and American values. True. Two American values in particular. They're the same side of the same, or two sides of the same coin. One is a small business person who has the absolute right to sell a legal product at a fair price without undue government regulation. On the other side of that coin, it's about an educated, of age adult making a conscious choice to enjoy these fine artisan products. And it's about tens of thousands of jobs in America and hundreds of thousands of jobs in the Caribbean. Very true. So, you know, in terms of, you know, cigar rights, for those that, you know, aren't, you know, aren't kind of pervy to what's happening with the bills, you know, what is the major the roadblock um, that the bills are trying to stop? Is it coming at from the tobacco angle? Is it that they're not regulated each individual well, blend and the FDA is not signing off? What, what's the main thing? What you have to understand is you have to understand that the uh, Tobacco Control Act that was signed in 2009 by President Obama gives the FDA the right to regulate all tobacco products, and they are they are slowly expanding their uh, sphere of influence. Right now, they regulate cigarettes and smokeless, and they're having trouble doing that. Uh, now, imagine regulating what 3,000 plus different types of cigars. Uh, and what we want them to know, and actually, we've met with Mitch Zeller, who's the new director of the Center for Tobacco Products. Uh, several times. I've met with him personally here and I've met with him personally in Washington. Uh, and he understands that premium cigars are different. But we need to keep educating our politicians and that's where I need the help of everyone that's watching this to get involved. Don't assume that someone else is going to do the work for you. Okay? You have to help yourself. Right? I need retailers, I need manufacturers, I need consumers to get involved tell their politicians to support these bills because 
So the more people that support the bill, the stronger the message to the FDA. That's true. And it's they, like uh, Bill was saying, real simple to get involved. Go to CRA.org. Um, all right, Actually, cigar rights, cigar cigar rights 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 or IBCPR.org. And you can fill out that information. It's actually really easy to do. It is. Um, it, takes, yeah, it, takes less, yeah. it takes less than a minute. It yeah. takes a form email and it sends it. And one thing I will say is that when it populates, it's a standard email. Hey, Mr. Bob, blah, 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 here's this. I actually added my own little blurb to I spelled everything wrong. But I want to know that it's just not me clicking a button that I actually get. And the nice thing is, is if your representative or your senator is already on board with the bill, it sends them a thank you. The software is smart. Right? Just like you. Yeah, well, that's not <laughs> But it sends them a thank you for supporting the bill, right? So it won't, it just, it won't encourage them to support something they're already supporting. Yeah. If they're not on the bill, it will encourage them to support it. And then you need to follow up. If you're a retailer, have your, have your representative into your store. Teach them about the cigar store experience. Teach them about that this is a family business. These are small mom and pop stores, uh, multi-generational stores. And make the point that this is not about tobacco. This is about jobs, 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 okay? It's all about economy, and we are in the worst economy that any of us have seen in our lifetimes. Uh, and the fact that the FDA is potentially trying to put us out of business uh, is just incomprehensible that, that in this environment, we wouldn't be encouraging small businesses doing everything we could to help them yeah. uh, rather than to control them. I think we can win this battle, but we can only win this battle with your help. What do you think the, if, you know, heaven forbid something, what would be the, the total economic impact dollar-wise? Do you have any figures on what that would be? Uh, I, I, you know, I, I make a point of not answering hypothetical questions typically. Uh, I, I don't have a, you know, contrary to popular belief, I don't have a crystal ball. But, uh, <laughs> but what I can tell you is that it will take away your freedom. About billion dollars. This is about choice. This is about being an American and being, I mean, there's there's nobody running off a plane to go smoke a cigar, right? There's nobody that smokes two packs of premium cigars a day. There's no 15-year-old standing on a corner smoking a premium cigar because they can't afford them. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Uh, so you need to get involved. It, it's the, it's the Coke tailors are the ones that really make me angry. That they think that someone else is going to do this yeah. for you. You need to get out there and express your opinion. If you like doing this, right? You need to do something about it. So get involved, get on our website. I don't care whose website you use, this is not a territory issue. I just need you to get that message to Washington. We spend over a million dollars a year lobbying to help your rights simply to smoke a cigar. Wow. Okay. It's amazing. Yeah. So, you know, you guys heard it. If you haven't went to um, the IPCPR.org or CigarRights.org uh, and registered, emailed your congressperson, your state representatives, you need to do it now. This is no joke. Or, like Bill said, you might not have cigars. So this is, Bill, appreciate you coming on. Thanks, Thanks for it. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks, Thank I'm Rob. Check out CigarFederation.org. Or CigarFederation.org. Yeah. <laughs> you got .org on the brain. Shit, I know, man. So <laughs> check out Cigar Federation for more IPCPR 2013 coverage. This is Logan and Rob and Bill out on day four. Three. Get involved. Now.